All right, time now to head over to our newest addition to our CBS 13's weather team. Ashley Nanfrio, before we get to the weather, Let's hear a little bit about you. It sounds yes. like this is a little bit of a homecoming for you, so that's great to hear. It is, definitely, yeah. So I was in Colorado Springs before here, but this is a homecoming for me as I am from Modesto, so not too far from Sacramento, and I also went to Sac State, so yes. Excellent. I, uh, stingers I up, right? Yes, yeah, stingers up. Definitely wanted to get closer to home for sure, and I'm happy to be back. There we go. Yeah. Perfect. Yes. Well. It's a great day for weather, that's for sure. Absolutely, great day for weather. Lots of heat going on. So let's get into your forecast because we do have a lot of heat around still as we take a look at temperatures right now. Most of us still holding on to the 80s and 90s across the valley. And as we take a look at the Bay Area already dropping into the 60s and 70s, that cooler air that we're feeling across the Bay, well, that'll be slowly getting closer to the valley, especially as we head into tomorrow. Checking in with wind speeds, however, we have started to feel a bit more of a breeze this afternoon and evening. We'll We'll continue to feel that, especially here over the next couple of hours, as wind is going to be picking up just a little bit more. It's all thanks to a low pressure system that's scooting across the Pacific Northwest right now. As that continues to track to the east, we may pick up just a bit more cooler air, especially tomorrow and into Monday. So temperatures, well, they're going to be falling over the next couple of days, but with that disturbance up north, we are going to be pulling in a lot more wind too. Checking in with wind gusts here in the next hour, wind will start to pick up even more especially across the valley. We'll expect gusts around 25 to 30 miles per hour, but across some portions of the Bay Area and even across the mountains, we could be feeling gusts closer of about 30 to 40 miles per hour. Into early tomorrow, subtler winds, very calm winds, but wind going to pick right back up through tomorrow afternoon, right around 1, 2 o'clock. We'll continue to keep the wind around through the evening, even stronger tomorrow evening as well, with some gusts up to about 40 miles per hour. So definitely going to keep the wind around over the next couple of days, but funneling in some cooler air tonight. We'll start to feel it. Temperatures drop into the 50s and 60s into tomorrow. However, into the 80s across Sacramento County. Not a bad way to kick off Father's Day. Lots of sunshine around even across the entire Northern California region, even into the Sierra. We're going to keep the sun around just a bit breezier tomorrow afternoon. And if you're going to be liking the cooler air, well, guess what? We've got more on the way. Checking in with our temperature outlook. Cooler air going to be staying with us over the next six to 10 days as we check in with our Climate Prediction Center's temperature outlook. So not a bad stretch of weather by any means. If you're liking the cooler air, well, it's here to stay, especially on Monday. Take a look at highs. We'll top out in the 70s on Monday, holding on to that for one day only, but then back into the 80s by Tuesday and Wednesday and into Thursday and Friday. We do start to warm up again across some of our microclimates. Hey, foothills and even Sierra going to be keeping the 60s and 70s around into next week. A bit cooler on Monday, but then that slow warming trend through the rest of the week will start to kick in as we check in with the Bay Area and even Delta too. Cooler air on Monday and Tuesday, then slowly warming up just a bit. But temperature is going to stay about 15 to 20 degrees below average for this time of the year. Brady?